got to see a spirited end of practice right there. It's kind of giving me state of the club right now. Obviously, things were down for a while, but your last three matches were, uh, you know, pretty nice showing. Yeah, no, again, I think that's a, a statement of where we are with a win and then a fantastic draw on Wednesday night against probably the best team in the league right now, Charlotte, you know, who could have gone top of the league with, with a win over us. So, yeah, we're playing um, with a lot of confidence, a lot of belief. Um, we understand that we are a long way from the playoffs, so it's certainly um, one game at a time, but everyone, we're approaching it with a lot of commitment and dedication, and we're really looking forward to be back at City Stadium, hoping for a big crowd to, uh, to get behind us and, and see, uh, for us, if we can win that game, we go above St. Louis, so it's a good, it's a good um, opportunity for us to continue to uh, drag ourselves off the cellar and keep moving forward. I haven't seen you since the breakout against Bethlehem, three goals. What was different that night versus, say, the other offensive struggles you guys had? Um, I think there was just a lot more urgency in our play. I think we were starting to get a good rhythm with a consistent team week in, week out, which helps dramatically. Um, and again, like I said before, we haven't been that far off with performances. Uh, we just haven't quite put it all together. That one we certainly did. In Charlotte, in many ways, we did as well. And uh, we're really looking forward to getting out and doing it again against St. Louis on Saturday. And you've seen a few players that haven't gotten much action with it, Oliver and then Oscar coming in the last three games. How is people right behind them kind of factoring in their Yeah, it just shows you that, you know, you're never out of contention to become a star in the group. Um, Oliver's sat patiently and, and not had many opportunities. Oscar's come out, um, you know, and joined his mid-season and they've step, stepped into the into the starting lineup and have, have added a little additional energy and quality at the right times. And I think there's another, you know, 10 players who aren't starting right now who can do that if given the opportunity. So I feel real good about the strength of the squad, the health of the squad. And uh, like I said, we're in, we're in high spirits, a lot of belief in the group, and most importantly, we're playing well. And you said that with possibly a win tomorrow, you would leapfrog over St. Louis. Add that into the fact you guys got four out of the next five at home. How does... Yeah, it's certainly now or never, but again, it's just us trying to continue to improve and make sure we approach each game as professionally as we can with a desire to pick up three points um, and we'll see where that takes in the end. People are still fighting for contracts for next year. We're, we're certainly, in my opinion, still building for next year, but you never know. You never know what could happen. A lot of the problems you guys were seeing throughout the beginning half of the season, you had them a little bit during the Bethlehem game, like the goals getting called back, things of that nature, the things that were kind of frustrating throughout the season. How's it been from a coach's point of view to see the team kind of finally overcoming a lot of Well, this? it's a couple of games, but I'll tell you this. Look, we've conceded, have a, as good a defensive record as Charleston in the league, who are top of the league. So it's a very similar defensive record to Charlotte. I think, with the exception of Charlotte, we've certainly created enough goal-scoring chances uh, as most teams in the league. We just haven't had the quality and we maybe haven't had the experience at the right times to figure out how to, to pick up the win. Um, we're a very... Um, we're a group of very nice individuals and we have to kind of change that mentality a little bit. And nice guys, I think, do finish last a lot of the times, especially in this type of situation. And we've just got a little bit more uh, killer instinct, a little bit more experience. Um, and we're, we're real close. So it's just refreshing that we're creating goal scoring opportunities. We're, we're creating a tighter defensive unit. And you can just see the, um, the confidence starting to, uh, to spread throughout the group.